Hey everybody, Soda Hunter here. Today I have a Henry Weinhardt's Orange Cream Gourmet Soda. Now, it says Gourmet Soda, and it has all these uh, all these little stories on the uh, label and stuff like this. A Gourmet Soda hand-finished with natural and artificial flavors, and only the freshest and highest quality ingredients. Then it has your story around the uh, lid up here. We proudly present our orange cream soda, handcrafted with the finest and highest quality ingredients, including a brand of select oranges, mandarin, and real vanilla. Added complexity and character. Added complexity and character come with a blend of lemon, lime, ginger, Chinese ginger, nutmeg, and botanical extracts, including lemongrass and angelica root. We are honored to continue the tradition of providing only the highest quality beverages started in 1856 by our founder, Brewmaster Henry Weinhardt. Now, you read all that, and you're thinking, this is going to be amazing. It's going to have all sorts of complex uh, flavors and stuff like this. You look at it, there's nothing natural floating around in this. You know, there's no uh, pulp or sediments or anything like that, which isn't always a bad thing. I mean, that doesn't, they could just use a really good filter or something like that for it. Maybe that's, maybe that's not what they wanted. But then, they get the ingredients list. Carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, and or sugar, citric acid, sodium benzoate, natural, natural and artificial flavor, modified food starch, eth, erythorbic acid, yellow 6, glycerol, ester of wood rosin, brominated vegetable oil. What the heck? <laughs> none of what they listed up here is listed here none of it maybe uh <laughs> any natural and artificial flavors you know you have all this natural stuff that they say that you have in here and then they go and add yellow six to it to try to make it this color that they want <sighs> something's off about this something's a little off about it uh the caps are funny. Each one of them is a little different. This one's a heads up. And um, that's neat. But I don't like the paper label. I just... It's cheap looking. I don't like it. Um, nothing really stands out about it. Except all the promises it makes up here that it doesn't describe down here. But let's see. Make sure it's not going to go everywhere. Because I was shaking it a little bit. And there's your cap. Pretty neat little cap. It's good to see something different once in a while. Now, I really like orange cream. Um, They just recently came out with, uh, you know, the little uh, flavor squirt bottles that you squirt in like your water or something like that. Uh, made by Mio. They recently just came out with a uh, orange cream Mio, and it's got this designer label on it and stuff like that. And it's really good, and I like to put that in a lot of stuff like milk or my shakes or something like that. I even put a little bit of that in, in like a cola once in a while. But this, it's, it's kind of putting me off with the labeling and stuff, but... It smells really good. It smells exactly like you think it should. And I hope it tastes like it should because I really like this combination of flavors. Usually, I, I even go to the truck stops. If I want something to drink once in a while, if they have an orange there and they have a vanilla add-in, I'll make my own creamsicle soda. You know, I, I really like this combination of flavors. It's one of my favorite combination of flavors. So I'm hoping this is good. I really just don't want to be disappointed by it, you know? You have this high expectations. You have a popsicle there. You have a popsicle down here. You have all these ingredients listed that I'm probably never going to be able to taste. Lemon, lime, Chinese ginger, nutmeg, vanilla, select oranges and mandarins, um, lemongrass, and angelica root. I, I'm not going to be able to taste all that. I'm sure I won't. So, let's see. Hmm. It's interesting. You can tell there's something else there. 
Now, it's a really harsh soda. It's really acidic. And I'm okay with that. Some people might not be. It's not a smooth soda at all. It's a really harsh soda. You can also see how, how insane the carbonation level is. It's, it's like constantly fizzing, like a champagne or something. The flavor itself is not bad. Um, I think that it could it could be better. It could be a lot better. But the flavor itself is not bad. I really don't taste any of this stuff except maybe the uh, citric elements of it because I really do get a harsh acidity to it. That's, it's pretty good. It's not... <clears throat> go out and stock up on it good or anything like that but it's like okay I like orange and cream let's pick that up see what it's like it's it's buy a bottle good that's gonna be my rating for that is buy a bottle the orange and cream flavor they go good together they stay together they wash away together they don't separate you get you know, the beginning taste you get is what you finish with and it's a it's a decent flavor it's just nothing earth shattering or anything and that's kind of disappointing saying all it has up here in it i expected it though when you go and read the ingredients and none of nothing nothing like this is listed in ingredients it's all covered up with natural and artificial flavor why would you do that when you have it all listed up here just put it down here give me a sense of you know a sound mind with it i don't know it just it doesn't sit well with me you can tell that it's it seems like there's more of the high fructose corn syrup than there is the natural sugar. You can tell with this. It doesn't taste as sweet as it could. Um, I don't know why they would do that, considering they have such a harsh acidity level with it. This is one of the few sodas that I actually, thinking twice about it now, I actually think the acidity level in this might be a little high. It might be a little too harsh, even for me. And I like that. That's See, it doesn't... The big thing about an orange cream soda is that you want it to taste like orange cream. You have such a high acidity level that you're getting more of a lemon orange cream and that's not what you're what you're wanting out of it i mean it's not bad like i like i said buy a bottle that's my rating for it it it's decent enough to where you'll probably finish it it's just not decent enough to go back to so that, that's it uh henry weinhardt's orange cream gourmet soda gourmet's a laugh but that's my rating for it uh you see that anywhere i got mine in texas at a random truck stop in uh orange orange no. It is. It was Orange, Texas. My bad. <laughs> I go through so many different places and so many plants at all these little different places. This truck shop was actually right down the street from a plant I go to all the time in uh, Orange, Texas. So, um, if you see those anywhere, uh, pick it up. It's worth a try. You might really like it. You might like that harshness in it. I, I kind of didn't. But, um, I thought it was okay. I would... I'll finish it. It's a decent orange cream soda. Uh, if you like this video, follow me on Twitter at soda underscore hunter, facebook.com slash soda hunter kevin. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below. Have you ever seen those anywhere? Have you had them anywhere? And um, let me know in the comments. And be sure to check out the Soda Jerks on Twitter at the Soda Jerks and the website thesodajerks.net for hundreds or more reviews just like this one. And until next time, happy hunting.